Hey everybody, it's DJ Ty from AGIProDJ.com. Today we're doing a comparison video between the Pioneer DJ CDJ900 and CDJ2000. And um, some glaring differences, I mean, check them out, the screens, the jog wheels. We're gonna just cover these real quick. We're just gonna go around between the two of them. We wanted to sit them side by side so you can see the differences. Jog wheel, you know, they're pretty darn similar. You've got LED illumination on the CDJ2000. You have no tension adjustment on the 900. It's got a really nice feel to it. It's actually a little bit better, I think, than the CDJ800 Mark II, which it's the big brother to. The CDJ1000, you've got LED illumination on the jog wheel, and you also have the jog wheel adjustment. So you can adjust, I mean, that's on its lightest setting. Not bad, but you can crank it all the way down. So, jog wheels, you can see just the difference in the illumination. You do have LED illumination on the play, pause, and cue. This has the, the signature rings that are around the CDJ1000. Track search and the search features are identical. The direction controls are a little bit different. It's a knob on this, or actually a lever on the 900. It's a single button. Does the exact same thing. This is just exactly the same as the CDJ1000 Mark III. On the CDJ2000, in this particular part of the player, you've got hot cues and hot loops. I have a hot cue set there. If I had a loop set, I could go and save that loop. So I've got a hot loop section there. On the CDJ900, I actually have the auto beat loop section. And if I have this track playing, I can make it do an eight count loop. Actually, I have it. Four. So you get that kind of build up that you normally get in a track that you'll hear at a club when they'll do that quick build. So that's the auto beat loop section. We've covered, um, the jog wheel adjustment. The 900 has a slip feature that is not on the CDJ2000. Had a lot of people bellyache and complain about it. Get over it. It's on this player only. Keeps time. Very cool feature. That's the slip feature only available on the CDJ900, oddly enough. How does that benefit a DJ? So, how does it benefit a DJ, Rick asks. And definitely check out our video where we cover this more um, in a more overview. But if you're beat matching, that slip feature, as you notice, the red dial in the center is the slip feature. So you can't screw up. I mean, if you're doing some cutting, some scratching, when I let go of the jog wheel, if I don't let it off on beat, it sounds terrible. The other thing that it does is when I'm doing my manip manipulation, it's continuing on in the track, so you don't get that break in the music. When you scratch, you don't let it go, and then you take off from where it was. It's picking back up where the music would have been had you not have touched the jog wheel at all. So that's a very cool feature as well. Huge glaring differences are the screens. And this is a beautiful organic LED screen. It's huge, it's bright, you can adjust the brightness on it. It's got animation, so you can control and scroll through your tracks. The 900, it's a really nice track, more information than any previous model CDJ. It's not quite the 9,000 or the 2,000, but it also doesn't cost as much money as well. Uh, the 2,000 has a lock and unlock feature. If I've got my deck locked, I can't go and load another track. It says that your player's locked. If it's unlocked, I can switch. Um, you don't have that ability on the CDJ 900. And then the vinyl speed adjustment on the 900 is just a single knob. So basically you get to hear, that's set at the most extreme section. You do have the ability to give it that sound where you have that kind of vinyl turn down or that brake speed that's every, you know, that everybody hears on the 1200 and that's the
On the 2000, you've got two knobs. You can adjust your brake speed as well as your release speed. And you saw on the 900 that I only had the ability to do one or the other. If I wanted it to go down slow, I have to have it come up slow as well. But on the 2000, and I let go, it takes right off. Let's say I want it to slow down super slow. I don't know why you'd ever do this live, but you have the flexibility to do it. And then you let go. You can do the polar opposite. Instant stop. Comes up from a crawl. The CDJ2000, specific to this model only, has the needle search section, which is essentially needle dropping. It's locked, so you don't do something dumb while you're playing live. You have to put your finger on the deck. Or, or the track has to be in play pause. So, some glaring differences between the two. What's the difference here? Um, oh, actually we missed one thing here. Is the SD card. And that gives you the ability to put tracks on an SD card, save your loop and cue points to it as well. On the CDJ1000 Mark III, you couldn't save uh, music to an SD card and play off of it. It only was for loop and cue points, but on this, you can actually save music to an SD card. Both players, have a USB slot, so you can hook up a USB hard drive on this one. I've got a thumb drive on this. Um, both players have a Cat5 jack in the back. I actually have a Cat5 Ethernet cable connecting them together, and they both are able to link. So I'm able to play, these tracks that I'm playing right now are actually playing off of this hard drive that's connected to this CDJ. And you can do any incarnation of that between up to four players can share off of one drive. So. That is a huge difference between the two of them. It's kind of like, this is a Honda. Great car, fantastic car. This is the Acura. Is it worth $500 more? I think the features alone speak for themselves. The screen, the needle drop, the hot cues and the hot loops, the vinyl mode adjustments as well, the jog wheel adjustments, the LED, and the gorgeous screen. This is a great player for the money. And if this is out of your budget, or this just does things that aren't necessary for you, this is a fantastic player. It still plays off of USB, it'll play off a hard drive, it'll play off a flash drive, it's still a MIDI controller just like the CDJ2000, it's still an audio card just like the CDJ2000. So don't think you're selling yourself short by buying the 900. The CDJ2000, worth every penny. I'm DJ Ty from AGI ProDJ.com, thanks for checking us out.